now we will be working in backend so that we can um, have the register route and a controller method so we can try creating or uh, registering a user we will start by creating an endpoint which is a route and then a controller method to handle the user registration so let's go to our server folder and first we want to start with the routes let's go to auth and create that endpoint router.post I guess you make sure it is post and not get because uh, we will be receiving a post request from our client all right so post the endpoint is going to be registered now we don't have to write api because it is already prefixed here you can see here okay so we just need to write the endpoint name register and to process whatever uh, we get here to do anything else Be previously we wrote callback function but now we're going to just use a controller method right so we can call that register as well so that means we need to create this one and import from this controllers function so let's import that the structure and now let's go to controllers auth and create this one okay so export const register equals to we can make it async we get access to request and response okay so here first let's have a look so when we send a request you saw we could see the name email and password here which we were sending but we also need to make sure that we are receiving that in the back end so you might come across a situation when you're working with api some you create something and you don't get anything in the back end okay so pay close attention here because i will show you some of the possible issues you might face because when you're working with um front end back end this is the first thing you need to do you need to console log and make sure your data is sent from the front end and received in the back end okay so first thing you want to do is console log and try to have a look at the data so whatever you send in the request body let me quickly go to the client go to source auth register so you made a post request using axios and this information you send this is sent and received in the backend as a request body okay so this is a body later we will uh, be using the headers as well to send the token but at the moment this is all we have this is a body so this information should be accessible in request body so you can do that using request dot body okay so let's give it a try let's have a look we need to make sure that we get the same information in the console log printed in our server console as well so here in the server console at the moment we don't have anything here now let me go here and type ryan ryan at gmail.com let's try okay so we don't get anything here because we're not sending a response back or anything but okay so here we got undefined so you might come across this error and i intentionally wanted to show this to you we get undefined because any data you send in the um, request body that data is received as json data our application doesn't have the ability to get the json data yet so what we need to do is we need to use a middleware in server.js so you could use a body parser which is a very popular um, library or you can use um, the express.json as well so we have express anyways so no need to install the body parser now so we can come back to this middleware section and apply that as a middleware so app.use express dot json and execute this you need to make sure you apply it as middleware otherwise you don't get any um, json data from the request okay but now that we have applied it should work okay so previously we got undefined we got undefined but now we should be able to see the, the use data let's try one more time let's hit submit 
Okay, so you can see here the request has been made. You can go to uh, the headers. You can see here we have received this user information. Beautiful. Okay, so anytime you get undefined or you're not getting the data you're sending from the front end to back end, always make sure uh, you have uh, the body parser.json. Okay, now if you were using form data, which is a little bit different than JSON data. Anyways, I will show you later how we're going to work with the form data as well. But at the moment, it's all good. Now I have some um, points here to help you with the possible issues. So if you get data undefined, obviously I'll just show you. You need to make sure you have either body parser or used express.json as a middleware, which we did. Now another possible error is you might get course error. Okay, so this also happens all the time with students. They get this error. But if you get this, make sure you have this middleware applied in your server. At the moment, you can see we have applied as middleware, so no problem. But just to uh, show you, if I comment this out and try to send request from our front end to back end, let's see what we get. Let's go to console. Let me try submit. And you get here access to this um, API endpoint, localhost 8000, from the origin, which is the uh, 3000 here. So technically there are different origins, different domains. It has been blocked by course policy. Okay, so this is the default behavior. Browsers do not allow a such a request from one domain to another for security reasons. All right. So for whenever you, you need such requirement, when you have your application running in different domains, then you can use course. So that's what we did with this package. Okay, so let's make, make sure if you get that error, make sure you have this one and make sure it is on top of all your middlewares just to be sure all right now we can continue in our controller we have the user data already here which is great now we can use that data to create a new user